and hope you're having a fantastic day for today's message i'm going to be tuning into the divine masculine energies and if you would like a personal reading or twin flame coaching please check the description box below i was foolish to ignore you when i was ready to reply you got angry and then didn't know how to respond so if you have an unloving thought about me don't judge it don't feel bad about me just sit with it bring love there until it dissolves even if you have 19,000 negative thoughts a day, just work with them to the best of your ability. Just take large or small steps with it according to what you feel able to do at the time. It's a process. I got spooked. Well, that might be how I rationalised it in my mind. But if there's any kind of dependency in our union, then I've got no choice but to move away. Because twin flame relationships are not codependent, but dependent on the divine instead. You'll find that as you progress along this journey, you are hopelessly dependent on the divine. But also the divine is hopelessly dependent on you as well. And that leads to life-changing transformations and stuff working out. The change in your life that's so fulfilling, the wards will be so numerous. You're just getting started on your mastery. What will it be like 10 years from now? Continuing this mastery of spiritual work. Utter heaven. Six of cups. Yeah. And I am remembering the good times. I do want to come back, come back and be with you. And that's because you're getting it. You're doing the inner work. You're doing it. Be proud. Choose to feel your, your emotions, whatever they are, and know that there's peace there. Have trust and faith in the divine. We'll graduate into harmonious union, truly, sustainably, from a place of mastery. Because you've earned it, you learned it, you persisted. Did you actually learn the thing? Garuda Superana. Refuse, you refuse to accept the illusion as, as the ultimate reality. <laughs> By turning from a place of working hard to playing hard, that's how you get laid. Really learning, we're transcending together. I'm so proud of you for pouring your whole heart into this. It has real value, it has real meaning. Put your whole heart into the journey. You'll receive treasure and appreciation which has no end. Wait, pause, say no. So there's no need to rush. There's no need to try and make things happen. Just allow them to unfold naturally. This journey has no end. That's what the divine is. Claim your eternal nature. Claim the divine in your eternal nature. Choose to walk in that state of change and permanent permanence and eternity with the divine. Feel so awake and alive in the divine right now. I've never felt the way I feel about you with anyone else. I was yours immediately. And I feel that attraction more and more and more as you ascend your vibe into higher and more delightful things. Peace, joy, higher knowing, harmonious union, making progress. Maybe you didn't know how much work it would be, but holy shit, how rewarding it's, it's going to be. I can still feel you. We're coming into the light of day. Our union is coming into the light of day. It's a hidden treasure that shouldn't be hidden. It won't be hidden much longer. We're both sharing the same dreams of abundance. Trust the divine and follow the divine way. And 
never accept being unloved as okay. Be very clear, you're not unloved. It may involve working very diligently for months without recognition, but there comes a time in the journey when you do get feedback for what you're doing. Page of Swords. Yeah, you're coming into a place where you'll be receiving a windfall of abundance. It's a process of doing the spiritual work and what it looks like in your life. There's times when the spiritual work becomes very intense and challenging. Sometimes it seems overwhelming. It can seem like there's no end to it. It can, it can feel like it might wear you down, that you can't do it. It's not true. It's not the amount. It's not how hard you work. It's about honouring your balance. Spiritual work comes in cycles for many. There's times when there's lots going on. I, you may say, how could I possibly handle this? The sun of 417 hertz. So when it gets, uh, when it feels overwhelming, when it gets, it feels like it's getting a little bit too much, the divine's answer is always, "Give it to me, then, my child." The divine will always lighten your load. Life might be overwhelming, but not because of the spiritual work. It was always that way. The spiritual work is your tool for moving through it. Life is going to happen until you have that perfect mind, perfectly healed. Stuff will come up that you don't like, that don't seem perfect. But the Divine is always using that for your benefit, to help you find more peace, to help you expand your love. And then there may be other times when it might look like you've got nothing to do. Birthing a new age, birthing new creations, dreaming a new world into being. It might not be the juicy kind of spiritual work that gets, through, get you, gets you through this big block. And, then, and uh, which results in feeling great. It might be this long, dreary thing that you have to keep chip, chipping away at. But joy and intrinsic benefit in the spiritual work is not just a later benefit. It's not just a spiritual paycheck. But it feels good to do it. It feels good to move through it. Even though it's work, and the big payoff is usually later, doing it feels good, and that's why you do it. Because it feels good, not for the result. I showed you I love you through our magical kisses. Trust your heart's not going to be broken by the divine. Sometimes the divine does break your heart open, but only because you had some crushed, crusty old stuff over it that don't belong there or serve you or make you happy. What will make you happy is working through it, finding the God there, finding the love there. It's such a process, it's so much work, so many things going on, so many challenges. And for many it seems like it will never end and then there's even more to do and then there's another challenge and another. But we have faith and we persist. I know you're right but I need to come to my own conclusions. And so just keep doing what you're doing and I'll be doing my bit. Our strength is being tested, our heart is being opened, our faith is being developed, revealed and expanded. There's a reason the divine does everything and everything is turned into a reason for the divine. Every moment and experience, good or bad, divine or not, seen correctly. It's all for the greater good and everything for the greater good is for you. Everything for you is for, is for the divine. Strength. Strength is being tested. It's a virtuous cycle of expanding love, 
but eternally continues, forever bathing you in perfection, washing and cleansing away everything you thought was not divine, and relieving, the, re, relieving revealing, it, it is relieving as it reveals the truth be, betwe, be, beneath it all, that everything is always well. The divine's always there, even if you can't see her here in this way. Know that if you keep looking and doing the work, you'll find divinity here. And from there, union arises. Be with God instead of see an illusion. Your vibration rises, your entire life get better man your life is going to be so much better it's getting better all the time okay everybody i'm going to end this message here i really hope you enjoyed it and i hope you enjoy the rest of your day and i'll see you in the next video bye bye